Welcome to FNN. I'm Ryan Higby. And I'm Chris Woods. Miss Cottle Mifford High School art teacher was recently honored for receiving one of the top scores on RESA, a teacher internship program. Here's more on the story. I'm here with Mrs. Cottle, the Mifford High School art teacher, who was recently honored to receive one of the top rankings in the state for her RESA internship program. And I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Sounds good. So what did you have to do to complete the project and receive the award? Well, the rest consisted of five different tasks, each which were scored using a rubric. Uh, they were very rigorous and required various aspects, such as written responses, video recordings of lessons, and a lot of data analysis. So when you pulled up the results on your computer and you saw the, you were in the top 100 in the state out of over 19,000 participants. What was your reaction? Um, I was elated considering the fact that the year that I began the program uh, was also the year that it was piloted. And so to think that I was one of the top scorers out of 19,000 teachers across the state who had taken the assessment in the same time frame was pretty unbelievable. So when you look back on your time in high school mm -hmm. and you were trying to figure out what you wanted to be, what motivated you to be an art teacher? Well, I'd say that my art teacher was probably my biggest inspiration. Um, she kind of pushed me in that direction by telling me, you've got to um, do something with your career choice that you're passionate about. So uh, I followed her advice, went to college, got the art ed degree, and I love what I do. So. So my last question is kind of a fun one. What's your favorite thing to teach to your students? Well, I really love all aspects of art, but I'd have to say ceramics is probably my passion. Um, it was my emphasis in college, and um, I love the fact that the medium is one that a lot of my students haven't uh, experienced before. So it's typically something that they get really excited to learn, and it's pretty fun for them. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Football season recently came to a close, and the banquet was held earlier this week. FNN spoke to a few football players to get their reactions. I'm Trevor Bear with, uh, and I'm interviewing uh, Joshua Muck about uh, being a football player, and this is uh, due to the recent football banquet. How do you feel now that football's over? Uh, you know, it's all right not having to go out there and die at practice every day. There's <laughs> a lot of hard work to put in out there, but at the same time, I'm sad it's over because I'm going to miss playing with the guys. I've been playing football since I was third grade, second grade, playing flag football. I'm going to miss it, that's for sure. I'm going to miss the coaches. So you do miss it? Yeah, absolutely. What was your favorite part about football? Oh my. Uh, I'd say my favorite part of football is playing on Friday nights, but there are so many other good things. Good for running practice with your friends who's up there. My name is Joseph. I'm with FNN, and I have today with me Trevor Bear. What do you expect next year as a senior? Well, I expect uh, we're going to pick up where uh, the seniors have left off. You know, we're going to have to fill their roles. Uh, on the team and, you know, just, you know, be that kind of leader that uh, the up-and-coming classmen need. Who will take the senior place? Um, well, maybe I'll take some uh, position online, and, uh, on the line, I should say. Uh, Casey Gaines will probably be a linebacker where uh, Dylan Shepard was, and uh, everybody else will follow suit like that. Is there anything you would want to change about the football program? I'm happy with the way it is. The Quiz Bowl team has had another successful season so far. Mason Diego is here to report more on the story. We've had a really good season so far. We um, have currently lost one. We've won. Uh, I think uh, 10 matches. We're 10 and 1 right now, so we we're doing really well. And uh, we're sitting in second place in the league so far, hoping to 
hoping to finish first or second at the end of the year. <laughs> my my brother, he uh, he always ha has good teams. We have good teams, so we um, you know we have fun competing against each other. We we have competed against each other all of our life, so it's just one of those things where we always try to have bragging rights, you know, of, of, of uh, each year of who wins our head-to-head -head match. This year we lost our match with Willisburg. Uh, it came down to the last question, so we almost had it, but, uh, you know, watch out next time. Other memorable matches, um, yeah, we've had some close matches. Notre Dame gave us a close match. Clay gave us a close match. Um, what I, I really like traveling to tournaments outside the league, and so we had the we had the uh, opportunity to do that. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we went to OU Ironton and got to play some schools from outside the area, from Kentucky, and we did really well there. And we finished third out of I think 12 schools. Oh, my favorite category, there's no contest. It's life science. Life science is king. What inspired me? Uh, I would have to say just my love for learning and learning new things. And uh, Quiz Bowl is something that uh, has helped me increase my depth of knowledge of, of almost every topic uh, that's covered in school. And it's just really fun to, to learn new things. Our next quiz bowl match it will be uh, it's going to be after Thanksgiving break. We play Portsmouth and we play I think Oak Hill, and the results of those matches will determine the the final league standing. So we're really excited to to have positive outcomes for those last two matches. Cross Country recently celebrated their season at their awards banquet. Here's some pictures from that night. With the school year almost reaching its halfway point, we will be starting to feature a new segment called Senior Spotlight, where seniors can reflect on their time at MHS. Um, well, not to tell freshmen, it's always good to walk fast in the hallways. Don't be walking slow. Another thing is don't be intimidated by the um, older upperclassmen. Because if you are intimidated by them, they'll just walk all over you, and that's not what you want. Um, to stay out of trouble, um, make good grades, and don't hang with the wrong crowd. Um, after high school, I'm going to be going to college, I don't know what college though, to pursue a degree in social studies education, and I'm also going to be a coach. Cool. Uh, I plan to go to Elite and to be a cosmetologist. Let's say a pretty good experience I've had is I have been a dad to a lot of kids and um, my kids, they're not really my kids, they're just friends of mine, but the friends that I've made and uh, the sports I've been able to compete in have been a pretty good experience. Uh, probably being in the musical, that was just a really fun experience. Um, I probably miss the most would have to be all my underclassmen, all my younger friends that I have, and uh, football. It's going to be tough. Uh, my friends definitely almost the most. Um, 
five years. I I really don't know. I might be teaching somewhere. I might not have a job yet. I don't know. I'm really, I guess we'll figure it out in five years. Just I hope for the best. Hopefully I'll be a cosmetologist. And yeah. Teacher would probably say I'm a funny guy, but I also know when to be serious. But uh, sometimes I don't work as hard as I should. But I mean, it always works out in the end. Um, the Tim quiet, nice. Yeah, that's it. Once again, I'm Chris Woods. And I'm Ryan Higby with Falcon News Network. Signing, Signing off. off.